Hi friends, this is Mohan Raghavan. In today's video, we are going to see how to create the Java Swing UI application by using the drag and drop method. In case if you have seen bb.net, there is an option to use drag and drop so that the UI elements will be drag and drop option so you can create the application within minutes or within hours. But however, in Java, we need to write the code in previous time. But now we have the recent plugin. By using this plugin, we can easily create the Java Swing UI application by using the drag and drop. So how to set up that option that we are going to see in this video. I hope everyone has the Eclipse ID. Just download the Eclipse ID latest version and go to help. Then click on install new software. Then you can see the option like HTTP download eclipse.org then whatever the version you are going using. So that will be here. In case of my system, it will be 2009 iPhone 09. So that you need to select. Then after you will be seeing various options in that you need to go to the general purpose tools. Just expand that one. So wherever you find Swing or SWT or Window, that options or that plugins you need to select it. So here it starts. Swing, Swing Designer, SWT, and then Window Builder. So wherever Window Builder is there, that you need to select. Then that's all. Then click on Next. And you can see all the Swing plugins or SWT or Windows Builder plugins, all were selected. Then click on next, then accept the license agreement, click finish. So after doing this one, it will ask for to restart the clips. Just I am passing now here to give the time for installing all the softwares that we selected. So as we discussed, it will ask you to restart the clips ID. I am going to restart and passing for a time being. So after restarting the clips, just go to file option, then new, then go to other, and just type window. So it will come under Windows Builder, Swing Designer, and the application window. Just click on that, and next. So it will ask for the name, project. So demo UI, click finish. So after creating, you will be having demo UI.java. This is the source file. And you can see the default code will be generated for you. And click on design tab. So it may take some time in case of everybody the first time installation. So after clicking on the tab, you can see the design. I mean, after clicking on the design tab, you can see the tab here. So based on your need, you can get any kind of label or a button. So for example, I'm click, click on the label. And the label will be ready. Now currently it is a different kinds of layout. There are a lot of layouts are available. For example, absolute layout, pro layout. For our convenience, we can use the absolute layout. That means that wherever you drag, you can add anything. So now I'm clicking and adding to this one. Now I am just clicking on the label. So now label is created. No need. So that's all. Now click on the text field. So you can drag and drop. So that's all name. So like this, you can create any number of layouts. For example, if you want to go to the code again, you click on the source tab. Now you can see the JFrame got created, that is the base. And you can spend some time on what is the structure of the frames and the, let's say buttons, labels, and what are the different kinds of layouts available in the Java. If you have little idea on that, it will be very easier to switch between the code and the UI. Since we have the UI directly, we can design whatever you want directly there. After that, we can add the action even listener to that particular element so that we can add the code here. 
for example this is demo ui just save it and now go to the design tab now you can see the topic has been changed as demo ui so like that you can change whatever you want and you can just minimize this one also and uh, since you have seen here the different kinds of elements available in the ui you can change the parameters here for example if you want to change the font size so he can you change the font size to something and you can change the design and style everything so click on that so it will change automatically so again you can change to back to whichever you want now if you want to drag it you can drag it again so that's all so in this way you can create easily web or let's say not web actually desktop applications by using this plugin and it can be just converted into the executable jar file so that it will be like an application so if you click on the jar file it will be opening that application and you can do your operation so thanks all thanks for watching and have a great day